Hello Millionaire and Future Millionaires! In today's video, we are talking about tips for long-term investing. Before we continue our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Investing is a long game. Whether you want to invest for retirement or grow your savings, when you put money to work in markets, it's best to set it and forget it. But successful long-term investing isn't as simple as just throwing money at the stock market. Here are a few tips to help you get a handle on long-term investing. 1. Get your finances in order. Before you can invest for the long term, you need to know how much money you have to invest. That means getting your finances in order. Just like a doctor wouldn't write you a prescription without diagnosing you first, an investment portfolio shouldn't be recommended until a client has gone through a comprehensive financial planning process, says Taylor Schultz, a San Diego-based certified financial planner, CFP, and host of the Stay Wealthy podcast. Start by taking stock of your assets and debts, setting up a reasonable debt management plan, and understanding how much you need to fully stock an emergency fund. Tackling these financial tasks first ensures that you'll be able to put funds into long-term investments and not need to pull money out again for a while. 2. Know your time horizon. Everyone has different investing goals, retirement, paying for your children's college education, and building up a home down payment. No matter what the goal, the key to all long-term investing is understanding your time horizon or how many years before you need the money. Typically, long-term investing means five years or more, but there's no firm definition. By understanding when you need the funds you're investing, you will have a better sense of appropriate investments to choose and how much risk you should take on. 3. Pick a strategy and stick with it. Once you've established your investing goals and time horizon, choose an investing strategy and stick with it. It may even be helpful to break your overall time horizon into narrower segments to guide your choice of asset allocation. Stacy Francis, president and CEO of Francis Financial in New York City, divvies long-term investing into three different buckets, based on the target date of your goal. 5 to 15 years away, 15 to 30 years away, and more than 30 years away. The shortest timeline should be the most conservatively invested with, Francis suggests, a portfolio of 50% to 60% in stocks and the rest in bonds. The most aggressive could go up to 85% to 90% stocks. 4. Understand investing risks to avoid knee-jerk reactions to market dips. Be sure you know the risks inherent in investing in different assets before you buy them. Stocks are typically considered riskier investments than bonds, for instance. That's why Francis suggests trimming your stock allocation as you approach your goal. This way you can lock in some of your gains as you reach your deadline. But even within the category of stocks, some investments are riskier than others. For example, U.S. stocks are thought to be safer than stocks from countries with still developing economies because of the usually greater economic and political uncertainties in those regions. 5. Diversify well for successful long-term investing. Spreading your portfolio across a variety of assets allows you to hedge your bets and boost the odds you're holding a winner at any given time over your long investing timeframe. We don't want two or more investments that are highly correlated and moving in the same direction, Schultz says. We want our investments to move in different directions, the definition of diversification. 6. Mind the costs of investing. Investing costs can eat into your gains and feed into your losses. When you invest, you generally have two main fees to keep in mind, the expense ratio of the funds you invest in and any management fees advisors charge. In the past, you also had to pay trading fees each time you bought individual stocks, ETs, or mutual funds, but these are much less common now. 7. Review your strategy regularly. Even though you've committed to sticking with your investing strategy, you still need to check in periodically and make adjustments. Francis and her team of analysts do an in-depth review of their clients' portfolios and their underlying assets every quarter. You can do the same with your portfolio. While you may not need to check in quarterly if you're passively investing in index funds, most advisors recommend at least an annual check-in. When you check up on your portfolio, you want to make sure your allocations are still on target. In hot markets, stocks might quickly outgrow their intended portion of your portfolio, for example, and need to be pared back. If you don't update your holdings, you might end up taking on more or less risk with your money than you intend, 
which carries risks of its own. That's why regular rebalancing is an important part of sticking with your strategy. Look for changes in your situation, too. A financial plan is a living, breathing document, Schultz says. Things can change quickly in a client's life, so it's important to have those review meetings periodically to be sure a change in their situation doesn't prompt a change with how their money is being invested. Hope you guys enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.